Elgu Saturn IV Ultra 3D printer. This will probably be the most honest review you'll see on YouTube as when I was looking at videos, every one I seen were sponsored videos by Elgu where people had the printers sent to them for free. This was purchased out of my own money and as always my reviews will be straight to the point and honest. I've never used a 3D printer before, I'm a complete novice, so we'll see how good it is if somebody like me can use it. One user manual. your power supply, your switch, USB, which in all honesty, I would much prefer to have it somewhere on the front, and your Wi-Fi antenna. Your Wi-Fi antenna, some cheap gloves, some tools, your screws were there for the VAT, your power supply brick, some paper filters for straining your resin, one metal scraper for scraping your models off the bed, one plastic scraper for cleaning your vat, some useless dust masks, and I believe three months subscription to Chichu Box Professional, and the USB stick, which I've seen on a few um, YouTube videos to change immediately as they reckon these are unreliable. plug for your power supply brick. There is your build plate. Like I said, I'm a complete novice. I've never used a 3D printer in my life before, so it'll be interesting to see if this is really a beginner-friendly printer. As you can see, it has springs which push down as it's self-leveling. That's why I went for the 4 Ultra, because like I said, I'm a novice and I couldn't be bothered with leveling print plates. The build quality seems really good on it. You got your flip lid. Your build plate can only go on one way and then just clip that down. Solidly in place. I assume, I assume I need to take these screws out first before putting in the um, screws with the plastic knobs on the top. But yeah, we'll have a look in the house in a minute and we'll plug it all in and we'll do a test print. And I will honestly let you know if it is worth it or if it's a pile of crap. But the build quality is really good in all honesty, so I'm hoping good things for this printer. One box left. 
which is the drip tray but that is crap quality I would have preferred that to be in a much thicker plastic because this just looks like it's gonna rip after a period of time and the logo in there as I've seen so many people whinge about is a silly idea because it makes cleaning the resin out difficult before you start you've got to take these two screws from there and there and then replace them with these ones that came in the bag I've already taken the protective film off one on either side plug in your power supply but before we do that we will put on the aerial for the Wi-Fi there's your settings your Wi-Fi I have already set my Wi-Fi up with a password but you just enter that to get to your password language English for me sound on sound off manual leveling I'm not going to touch that service print mode version upgrade check for updates latest firmware it did do a firmware um, install but the battery ran out on this crap GoPro standard high speed you'll put it on high speed I also bought one of these off Amazon I don't know if it's any good but it's supposed to take the fumes out only £17 for two so I thought we'll try it push it on just sit it in the back of the printer time will tell put the USB stick in the side see what we got on it that's quite hard to get in let's have a look what we got on there slicing software Lychee Slicer, Chichu Box Pro and Chichu Box The Rook That's all we got by the looks Right We'll try it with that. The old plate is now coming down. <sighs> Complete standard stock settings, and I've never used a 3D printer before, so fingers crossed. Alright, looks like it's starting. First layer's peeling off. So if I'm doing anything wrong, please let me know in the comments. Anyway, if we leave it to it, we'll come back a little bit later. Pause the print. Let's see now if we have got anything on the print plate. And we've got absolutely nothing. Cancelling the print. Absolutely disappointed, waste of time. Right, I'm going to pause the print and make sure everything's okay.
because my first attempt just didn't work. Yeah, looking good so far. Change some of the settings. Quick check at 50% to see where we are. Right, we have just finished printing. Total print time, two hours and five minutes. And there we have the print on the base. Good job we got the drip tray. Checking this print at 35% to make sure everything is stuck. This touch screen's a bit of a pain in the ass. Yep, everything's looking good. The base is done for the model. Looking good. Click back on resume and let it carry on. see the VAT tilting which is unique to the Saturn 4 Ultra and also the Mars 5 Ultra another successful print for a complete beginner. Right, my print has just finished and it has failed on the one side. I don't know if you can see that. But we have a base. I'll show you what it's supposed to have been. It's supposed to be two chest pieces and the base for this model. This model is printed okay, but if anybody knows why it is failing on the left hand side, please let me know in the comments. This printer is good, but it certainly isn't beginner friendly like all the sponsored YouTubers make you believe. Also, I have calibrated the resin, which is Elgo's Water Wash version 2. It's been calibrated to the machine and it was printed okay yesterday after they set up. Finally, a successful print after changing the exposure settings yet again to base layer 30 seconds, normal layer. 2.9 seconds. Well, like I said, don't expect to buy this machine and just plug and play because I've had a nightmare fiddling in settings. But like I said, I'm a complete newbie. Full size print has just finished. It took seven hours and 50 minutes. Absolutely amazed by the results. Another print successfully done. Now I've calibrated the machine. Well, like I said, for a complete beginner like myself, this didn't work with the Elego Water Wash Resin 2.0 as the settings that were standard is slightly out. 
but since I have changed settings, as you can see, it's now printing perfectly. So don't buy one if you've never used one before, expecting you're going to get perfect results. You may or you may fail like I did, but join Facebook groups. There are plenty of tidy people that will help you like they did with myself. Well, I've had this printer a few weeks now, and these are some of my prints that I have done. Don't know what the white residue is on some of these prints, so if you know, let me know in the comments, please. There's only a few of the prints that actually has it, but not sure what's caused that. Don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's white residue. Print quality is really good, but like I said, for a beginner, you need to do some research because I'm currently printing Bavaria. The base has failed, it has broke off the supports, but the model is actually printing okay at the moment, but it's only 46%, so we will see what happens with that. Some of my other models. The print quality and detail is superb, but like I said, I still get a few failures. I'm using the same settings as what I printed this with and the same resin, but like I said, the supports have broken off the base of the print that is currently printing. So don't buy this thinking you can just set up and go. You will need to do research. But all in all, a very good printer, very happy with it even considering getting the Mars 5 after Christmas. But the details on the prints that have worked, I've got to be honest, is absolutely brilliant. But don't buy this printer like I did, expecting just to plug it in and pour resin in and get quality prints, as I have had many, many failures. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and comment and consider subscribing as it helps the channel grow.